the language of flowers, a popular Victorian method of conveying messages or sentiments through the use of flowers. Each flower was given its own sentiment or meaning, and through a combination of flowers, you could express a fairly complex range of thoughts and emotions. Now, the language of flowers doesn't necessarily have to apply to just bouquets of flowers. You could use images of flowers, such as on calling cards or in embroidery, to convey a message about the owner of the, of the item or the person presenting the calling card. I always find the language of flowers can be either incredibly romantic or incredibly passive-aggressive, depending on what combination you use. <laughs> So I went for a stroll in the garden today, and I captured a few of the flowers that are currently in bloom. For each flower, I've looked up the meaning in a couple different books. Sometimes the meanings vary slightly depending on what source you're looking at. So I've listed a couple when there's, there's multiple depending on the book. And if you look in the description below, I've listed all the source material books that I've gathered this information from. If you want to look up a different flower, or just if you're curious to read it, a lot of them have a love a lovely selection of floral poetry in them as well, if you're into Victorian poetry. So, let's get started. Now there are a number of blossoms I wasn't able to film because they're not currently in season, but here's a list of some of my other favorites that I wasn't able to include in this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you found this at least somewhat interesting. I personally love the language of flowers. I find it incredibly fascinating. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!